Here's how to create flashcards directly in your notes. First, go and press Create here and create a new document. Press the Enter key to make a new bullet where your flashcard will go. Then type the question in the front of your card, such as, what is the mitochondria? Then type the equals key on your keyboard once and then twice. That makes the flashcard directly here. You'll then have two options on the back of your card. You can either press Tab to accept the AI definition, which was automatically provided here, or you can just go ahead and type out the back of the answer yourself, such as the powerhouse of the cell. We call this a single line flashcard, and it's one of the main six flashcard types in RemNote. You can preview how your flashcard will look by pressing preview on the right here and see that it will test you on the front. And then once you press show answer, you'll see the back. You can also go to immediately practice it by pressing the practice button in the top right here. This was the single line flashcard. And again, you create it by typing question, the double equals, and then answer. Next up is the multi-line flashcard. First, type your question again. Here we'll say, what are the main causes of myocarditis? And then we're gonna type the equal sign, not twice, but three times. One, two, and you can see the arrow initially appear as a single line card here. And then if you press the arrow one more time, it turns into a multi-line flashcard. I can then add multiple bullets here by typing some text and then pressing enter. And each of these bullets will appear on the back of my card. I've gone ahead and added some of the real causes here. And now if we look at the preview, we can see that it's asking me to recall four pieces of information. And when I press show answer, they all appear on the back of the card here. When I'm actually practicing from here, then I'll first be asked the question. I should bring the answer to mind and then press show answer. I can then check off any individual piece of information that I forgot. RimNote will then mark those as forgotten and let me grade the other answers here. Next time that this card comes back, it'll test me more on the ones that I forgot, helping you narrow down your expertise. That's the multi-line card, which you get by typing your question, the equal sign three times, and then your answer. Next up are the list flashcards. These are similar to the multi-line cards, except that you'll be tested on each answer one at a time instead of seeing them all at once. Type your question first, such as what is the order of blood flow through the heart. Again, type the double equal sign to make a flashcard, but now type the one and then a dot. You'll see that you're automatically moved down into a list mode here. Add multiple list items here by typing some text and then pressing enter to add the next list item. When you're practicing, if we look in the preview here, you'll see that you're tested on each one of these separately. So first I'm tested on A here, and then it'll test me on B, and then C. If I put in my actual answers here and then go to practice, we'll see that after each time, I'm asked to grade myself on how well I remembered this answer. If I mark most of them as right here, but let's say that I forgot this one here, the left atrium, then the next time that I'm tested on this card, I'll be asked specifically about the left atrium, like this. The list cards are tracking your scores for each of the individual items separately to help you again narrow down and really master each individual point. List cards are perfect for anything that you need to learn in order with a consistent structured sequence. Again, you create them by as normal, typing your question, a double equal sign, and then a one dot to start your list, and then each line of your answer. Next up, shifting gears a little bit, we have the fill in the blank card. This kind of card is perfect if you have either some existing text or some quote that you want to remember exactly. For example, if I have this sentence here, that in this case, an artery is a blood vessel carrying oxygenated blood away from the heart. I might want to test myself on the state that the blood is in. I can then select this word here, oxygenated, and then in the selection menu, click on this little fill in the blank icon here. You'll see that the text gets automatically underlined in blue. And when I go to preview it, it's testing me specifically on the part that I had selected. Fill in the blank cards can be mixed with other card types. This is an actual fill in the blank card that I'd added in the past. But originally, I had it on a card like this, where I was just trying to learn what the definition of an artery was. But I was struggling for some reason and kept forgetting the detail that the blood was oxygenated here. I went to my existing card, selected oxygenated, and then just marked it as a fill-in-the-blank card. Now, two cards are being created from the single bullet. The single line card here, which we looked at before, but now also this fill-in-the-blank card here. And I'll be tested on each of them separately. You can also make fill-in-the-blank cards by typing. Just type the left curly brace once and then twice. You'll see that the blue line appears here and then type the part that you want to test yourself on. To get out of the blue line, you can either just click right after it or you can just press that curly brace again. And now I'm back in normal typing mode here. Next up, we have image occlusion cards. First, copy an image to your clipboard and then just paste it into your notes directly, either by right clicking and pressing paste or with control V. If you forget how to do that, you can also always go to the bottom here and add either the image occlusion card or any of the card types that we've already talked about. After pasting in an image, you'll see that this button appears here on hover. When you click on that, 
you go into this full screen editor here. In this editor, you can simply drag a box over any part of the card that you want to test yourself on. After dragging that box, a flashcard will automatically be created, which looks like this, testing you on this specific detail, and then you can reveal it to check your answer. You can also automatically generate flashcards for yourself with AI. Just click this button here, and you'll see that boxes are automatically drawn over every piece of text in the image. You'll be tested on each of these separately. So if we go to our flashcard here, then you can see that it's hiding specifically our pulmonary artery here, asking myself to recall that, I can grade myself, then it immediately goes down to here, and we'll go through each of these one by one with separate flashcards for each. You can also configure the image occlusion cards in a variety of ways, either directly in the queue or in that previous image occlusion editor. For example, I might not want to see the other text here. It might spoil the answer for myself. So I can go to the top here, press configure card, and then enable hide all test one. And you can see that the other boxes are automatically hidden. Finally, going back, we have multiple choice card. Create a multiple choice card by typing out your question, typing the double equal sign as normal, and then typing the letter A, and then a right parenthesis. You'll see that you're automatically brought down into a mode like this, where I can then add each of my potential answers, answer A, answer B, and so on. And when this card appears while practicing, the answers will be randomly shuffled. I can click on the answer that I think is the right one, and I'll be automatically graded. You can create that card type by typing double equals A and then parenthesis. But if you ever forget how to add a card, you can always just go down to the bottom toolbar here and either select it from the main options here or press the plus, which shows every single feature in RemNote that you can add. Here are how I use each of these main six flashcards. I use single line flashcards as much as possible. This encourages me to break down each piece of information that I'm learning into its smallest parts so that I can test myself on each specific idea and make sure that I'm not being lazy and skipping any specific part. If I'm learning a set of information, such as the causes of some disease, or just something that I can't break down any further, then I'll use the multi-line flashcard. Here I try to structure this as much as possible. So for example, I might actually organize this one a bit more into viruses and then bacteria. List cards are then perfect whenever you have something in a consistent ordered sequence to learn, such as the order in which blood flows through the heart. Fill in the blank cards are great if there's some specific detail of an existing card that you're forgetting, or if you have some exact quote or phrase that you're trying to remember. Image occlusion cards are perfect for anything visual, especially for anatomy, diagrams, maps, and so on. And then multiple choice cards, I use almost only for question banks. If it's something that you're creating yourself, then sticking with the single line card is almost always best. After creating your cards, you can then always go to practice them from the button at the top of your document here, or you can always go to flashcards on your left sidebar, scroll down and press practice there, or practice all the cards across all of your document. Flashcards are automatically scheduled with a spaced repetition separately for each card based on the grades that you report. The time here represents when this specific card will come back to be practiced next time. I like to make my notes and flashcards directly during lecture or while watching some video or reading something. My notes consist almost exclusively of flashcards because my goal is to figure out what I want to remember and then actually remember that. Here you can see that I'm mostly using single line cards to break down each piece of information atomically, but I also have some multi-line cards here, or maybe I should change that into a list, some closed cards for a specific piece of information that I was struggling to remember, some image occlusion cards for anatomy, and more. Each of these then I like to organize with indentation, and I'm also using some other advanced features here about references and portals, but you really don't need to worry about that. 90% of the value here is just making the flashcards directly while learning. So that's it, especially if you're just getting started, I would really strongly recommend just sticking with single line flashcards and maybe multi-line flashcards for now. Your goal while learning should be to actually just get your flashcards done and focus on the learning, not messing around with RemNote. Our goal here is to help you learn more effectively, get higher grades, and actually remember what you're learning. To go practice making these flashcards, you can go into the app, click on the tutorials option down at the bottom left here, then open up the section that says making flashcards. We'll walk you through each of these flashcard types one by one and even give you tips on how to use them directly in the app. Happy learning.